I've made this podcast. Now, how do I market it across multiple channels? Okay, friend, you've created a podcast. And I have a hunch that you found yourself in the position of, I've created this glorious podcast that can change the world. But now what do I do with it? How do I get it in front of my target audience and market it? I find myself in that position on a regular basis, and that's why I'm so excited to collaborate on this podcast series with Jennifer Denny, the owner of Elevated Marketing Solutions. Jennifer, welcome to the Brassy Broadcast. Yay! We've been talking about this for months, and we're finally doing it. (laughs) (laughs) And we're going to be talking specifically about marketing as this relates to podcast, but I think a lot of these things can probably be applied universally, don't you think? Oh, yeah. You can market like several different items. I've talked about this before. Like, I know what levers to pull. You tell me about your business, and I'll tell you where how to market that. So one of the reasons that I'm so excited about doing this podcast with you is that you weren't always into marketing. And I can totally relate to that because podcasting wasn't even a thing when I was in college. And I didn't know that this would be a career option because I didn't even see the internet or email until I was doing my internship my senior year of college. And I know that you've really done the work to develop your skills and you've adapted as marketing has changed over the years. And it feels like it's constantly changing and it's a little overwhelming as new platforms emerge and we have more ways to get our podcast and our content out into the world. So what were you doing before you created this career for yourself in marketing? I actually graduated from college with a degree in psychology and a minor of neuropsychology. And um, there was this little company called Yellow Book, which is actually a giant company, and they sold Yellow Page advertisement. And I got convinced to go work for them. Mm -hmm. Um, I had an eight year stint there. I was over the state of Indiana teaching people in the end how to sell digital marketing. I was teaching small businesses how all this worked. Like, hey, guys, this internet thing is not going away. Right. (laughs) (laughs) We need to move from the yellow pages and we need to go online. Uh Uh-huh. And I did that for eight years. And we were trying to create these packages or put things on a conveyor belt of marketing little small businesses which I guess is good for some people because that's maybe all they can afford. Um, mm-hmm. But I wanted to do real marketing. Uh huh. So I actually took a 50% pay cut and I went and worked at a marketing agency and learned everything that I possibly could. And then just, you know, decided, you know what? Like, I'm not going to be a CMO. Like, I need to be an entrepreneur. It's really who I am. Mm -hmm. And that took a lot to kind of discover that. And I think sometimes people are like, oh, you know, right off the bat, if you're an entrepreneur, now I really know I'm an entrepreneur. Right. (laughs) Like, I was meant to do this. Yeah. Uh, So I opened my own marketing agency about three years ago. And, you know, it's just all about, like, not trying to worry about the big giant wall, but I'm just going to lay this brick right here as perfectly Mm -hmm. as I can. And before you know it, you have a big giant wall. So here I am, a data scientist. I would call myself (laughs) (laughs) self-proclaimed. I love it. But I'm all about data and digital marketing. Welcome to the podcast. One of the things I was super curious to ask you about is because I feel like there is so much information and there's like a lot of free information out on the interwebs that is maybe not always good and helpful. What misconceptions do you find yourself explaining away to your clients, like just repeatedly about marketing? I think probably the major one is attribution. Okay. Um, That is the concept that I can tell you exactly what piece of marketing actually made somebody make that phone call, pick up the form, Or in this case, listen to your podcast. Uh Um, I can make a lot of inferences. Uh, I'm a data scientist, but it's not exact. I know we're all like, oh, we got numbers. It's got to be exact. Well, not all these platforms talk to each other nicely Mm -hmm. because they want your business. Like Facebook doesn't want to be nice to Google and vice (laughs) versa. And, you know, even though Google owns YouTube and Google ads, they don't even talk nicely to each other. So, yeah. And so like that linear, this is how somebody bought is kind of a false. uh, 
I think I have it on my Twitter that uh, you don't give credit to the very last beer that you drank before you got drunk. Right. It's all of the beers. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's the same thing in marketing. Like you got to give all of them credit. Uh, gotcha. Okay. That is such a great visual. And <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm totally going to think about that now all of the time as I think about the different ways that that are just out there to market and how we can actually reach people. Well, we're fragmented. Mm -hmm. Now there's 50 million ways to get that same information. And unfortunately, we kind of have to adjust to make our content available. And I don't know, at least three major ways we're going to talk about. Yes. And to fill you in on what's coming up in this series, because we want you to subscribe to it. And then we're going to want you to share it with all of your friends that need to hear it. Because sharing is caring. It is. Thank (laughs) you. (laughs) So in future episodes of this series, we are going to specifically be talking about SEO for podcasts and YouTube for podcasts and the impact that that can have. And also some organic and paid advertising. Yep. Social channels. Yes. We'll talk about like, you know, the big one, Facebook, but Instagram and all the other ones. But we'll, you know, we're hitting the major three. Google, YouTube, Facebook. That's where majority of the people are at. And then there's a ton more places we can fragment. And because I I find this whole subject overwhelming, um, we are going to try to simplify it and break it down to bust some myths and misconceptions give you some tools to help you and try to give you an episode like one thing. What is that one, even if it's just a baby step that will get you going in the right direction with marketing your podcast. That's a wrap on this first episode in this series. In the next episode, we are talking about SEO for podcasters. So if you haven't already, you need to subscribe to the Brassy Broadcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or your favorite podcasting app, Or if you are finding this through the magic of YouTube, then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm not going to ask you to rate and review this podcast because that's what usually happens in this section of most podcasts. Instead, I'm going to ask you to do something more impactful than just adding to my vanity metrics of ratings and reviews. Share my show with a friend or the folks on your street. Tap the share button and give it a tweet. If Spotify is your podcast repository, share the episode straight to your Instagram story. All recording, production, and podcast theme music is by me at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Thanks for listening. Now get out in the world and do some good.